Hello everybody and welcome once again to Feed the Beast Ocean Block. So today we are going to carry on and get on with some sluicing. So let's get started. So I have actually been making some grout. Grout's fairly straightforward, you just saw it. It was just sand, clay and some gravel. Um, and then we can put this into, this into the smelter and smelt it. I've already smelted up 24, which we need to basically start with. Um, before we start doing this, Let's get on. We do need to do this because we're not going to be able to do anything with metals. We need to make a sieve. Um, let's have a look. What we'll do is have a look at Feed the Beast. And we'll have a look at uh, what we can do. So we can make a cloth mesh, for example, which is four strings, uh, four sticks and five string. We'll make a cloth, cloth mesh. And then we can put this into an oak sieve. Uh, an oak sluice. So we can make one of these pretty easily. And we can't really automate this to start with. We can do some automation on it. But that takes a bit of time before we do that. And the next thing we can do is a manual pump. So a manual pump requires three buckets of water. They could be clay buckets, some stone and some planks. That's no big deal. Let's do that. I've got a 64. Let's just break this into four. And then half that, and then that'll give us enough stone for doing this. I have to wait for this to finish. Probably be a good idea to make another um, furnace while I'm doing this, because it's going to, we're going to be using furnaces a lot. In fact, in this particular case, I'm not going to bother. I've got to wait for this last one to go through. And then we have enough um, bricks, seared bricks, in order to be able to do that. The other thing we need to make was some more buckets, didn't we? So I've got this clay bucket here. Let's have a look at the recipe for that, and then... If you click that in, we should be able to make another one of those, I hope. <laughs> if not, I'm going to have to... Well, we can break one of these up. Can we break one up? Yes, we can. We so we get four. Um, recipe for that is that. And then we're just going to fill these up with water. So let's go and do that. I have actually made a little... A little bit more. I've changed this a little bit here, and what I've done is I put a water block underneath here, so this will go out. Because really, I want to use this space. One thing that is interesting is we've got a snow frost melon, which has got some block of snow on top of it. So if we take a, a mattock and just break that, we get a, we get a snowball, and then we can get this. I don't know whether it's got any food value or not, but yeah, it does have some food value from a thermal series. Anyway, let's carry on with this. So with the manual pump, we can fill this up with water much easier than doing it with buckets, because buckets is, is really a bit of a pain. So we've got three of these. We need some stone. That's good. So let's make up this manual pump. Oh, I'm missing one plank. Oh, dear. Right, we can soon sort that out. As you can see, I've got a reasonably large amount of wood on me at the moment. So let's just... Oh, yes, because I used it up on the thing. On the sluice, didn't I? Oh. So we've got the manual pump. And we've actually completed some quests. So we might as well go and get those quests. Because that's going to give us some good, decent rewards. Now we're going to put this down here. I want to put it at the air. Oh, wrong, wrong place. I need it one black backwards. Let's put it back here. Like that. And then we can put on the back of this the pump. So we just have to shift click it on here like this. And then we can right click click this and it'll feed it it'll get some water into it and this water will then be transferred into the sluice as you can see so we can keep holding this down until we get to five minutes if you go beyond five minutes you start taking damage <laughs> and then in here we can put the cloth cloth mesh like that and then we can start to put items into here well, the first one i'm going to be putting in here is actually not cobble so we're going to put sand in here because sand will give us gravel uh, will give us gold and we need some gold. That's a fairly high priority as it happens. Let's get the order of these out of here. While that's doing, let's cook some more oaks and make some more um, charcoal. So, sand. I have got 48 sand. I don't want to do that. I think that's all I've got at the moment. Let's have a look. We do have 16 gravel. We we'll keep those. So all I'm going to do is put the sand into here and stand at the end like that and that's going to keep feeding while that's feeding going through there we'll just right click this and put the next one in so then we start to get items i've actually got a gold chunk already i would like to get 
uh, what else have we got? Usually you get a reasonable amount of iron and a gold chunk. Um, what I'd like to get is five pieces of gold. And the reason I'd like five pieces of gold, you don't always get anything by the way, is then we can make a gold mesh, which is good. I haven't actually looked at the gold meshes either. So we've got eight or chunks. So we've actually completed the task, which is good. I should look look at those because we do get some good stuff from the from the rewards anyway. So I keep going up with this one here like that. As you can see, it's a process. In fact, I shall come back when we've actually got some more. Let's let's actually let's have a look at the quests and claim the quest too. First of all, so we've got the manual pump, which gives us a random reward. Could be anything. Three compressed stone, <laughs> fantastic. As it happens, not bad. The rewards here are pretty decent actually, and here we get these cobblestone, gravel, sand, and a random reward. So let's, I hope I've actually got space in my inventory. Oh, I should have good. Let's just go back and get those. Gravel, sand, and a random reward. A pity machine frame. Okay, that's fine. We'll put that away. We're certainly not ready to do pity machine frames at the moment. So we've got compressed gravel, compressed stone. Actually, that's good. I'll put it away because we really aren't. Re we haven't really reached that stage yet. We've got three pity machine frames. So we've got reasonable amount of gravel, two stacks of cobblestone, plus this what I've got here. So I'm going to be carrying on sluicing until I've got at least four pieces of gold. And we should also be getting iron at the same time. So have we got, have we got any iron yet? Everything but. Huh? <laughs> okay, see you in a few seconds. Well, I've just got my fourth gold. They're actually, I think these are called gold chunks or something like that, yes. So we put these into a form like this and we get a gold cluster. And the gold cluster we can then process. I'm going to do the same with iron, which is going to give us five iron. In fact, we actually get more than five. We will get a little bit more. So the first thing we've got to do now is to make a melter. So we're going to make the melter is, um, I hope I didn't set that up, did I? Let's have a look. So look for melt, and then you'll get the two recipes. So we've got the seared melter here, which is one seared fuel gauge, or an ingot gauge. I think it's just alternatives. So we can basically click it in like this. And we've got, I already made some glass, so we've got a seared fuel gauge like this. And then from that, we can then make the melter itself. And then we can also make the next part we need is a seared heater, which is just eight in a in a chest formation to make the heat. And we put one on top of each other with some fuel in it, and that will melt the stuff. So now what we need is a uh, table. Oops, I nearly got that right. <laughs> and some faucets. So a seared casting table and some faucets. Like that. I haven't quite got enough to make another... Uh, a basin. We don't need the basin just yet. Let's go and put this here for, to start with. Um, I'll put the basin down the side. It doesn't really matter. I'll put, it, I'll put the underneath that the heat, and on top of this, we'll put the, the, the seared. Drop it on the grass, glass actually, and then we can do this. So we've got this seared melter in here like this, and then what we can do. In fact, I probably do need to make another another one of these. So we put a piece of a seared brick down here like that which will be basically form the ingot cast. We need some fuel. Well, we've got some fuel because I made some fuel before, didn't I? I ran out of um, fuel, so let's put in another couple in here. In fact, let's split this into two and then put the rest of those into there so we get some more. And put this char charcoal into the heater. So what we can now do is smelt the gold cluster. So let's do that. Um, let's just put it into here like that. And that'll start to smelt. We can also do some iron as well at the same time, but we'll wait for this because we need this to come out. We'll have three nuggets afterwards, which is a bit of a shame. So we have uh, one ingot and three nuggets. Oh, I didn't put the faucet on, did I? I need to put the faucet on here, like this. And then right click this like that. And then we will get a, um, a seed, uh, basically what we get is just a, is an ingot mask, an ingot cast, sorry. So what we need to do is make some more grout. So let's make some more grout. I should have some enough materials to do that. Yes, we should do. Um, grout. So let's look at the recipe for this. 
and the recipe for grout. So we could basically click in another eight grout and then we cook those up. We probably can cook those up in the smelter, but I'm not going, no, we can't, not when it's got something else in, in it at that time. And I did promise to make another furnace. Let's make another furnace. I don't want to waste time cooking things up all the time. That. And then we can put some kraut into it. It just finishes it up. It's great. So we'll smelt this kraut up here now while we're doing that. I'll put another furnace down here anyway. Put some charcoal into that for our other stuff. So what we need to do now is to, is to make a casting basin. We could make a tank, but we haven't got any materials to do that just yet. But actually, we can do a tank, can't we? Have I, how much glass have I got still? I've got three pieces of glass. I need to make some more glass. We'll do that. Have I got some sand with me? I have to split that into three. Put that on there. That'll give us eight. So we can put those into here like that. So we get some more glass. And we can make another tank with that glass. And we can actually pour the um, three nuggets of gold into the tank, I think. I have not saying the thing because I'm not 100% sure. So we need four, four glass and... Um, five seed bricks if I remember rightly or the other way around I'm not sure which so that should be enough so we should be able to a seed bricks we got five of those now so we can should be able to make the casting another yeah another seed glass like this uh, oh seed glass is probably cheaper cannot store liquids so we don't want that one we want the other one then we want the one that can store liquids fuel gauge Save fuel tank. Actually, well, not though. We'll do the save fuel gauge. I think that's the one that we can store liquids in here. Retains liquids when broken. Yes, fantastic. So we can put this down here on the other side of this, like that. Put a faucet on the side of it. Click that into there. So we've got three, three ink nuggets of gold, which we can then reuse later on. So now we can put into here some of the iron. So we get three of those. And that will make enough for four ingots of iron, I think. Yes, it will do. Which is great, because then we can make an, an iron. We've got four ingots, great. And what we can actually do is we can put a lever on top of this. Let's do that first of all, because it's just also a very cheap mechanism of automation, I, which I actually like. <laughs> One lever. And we'll just put a lever on the glass up here. I think we have to do it up here. Then we could turn it on and that's going to pour these into here so eventually we'll just put a hopper underneath that like that yes there's nothing else in there so it doesn't need to do anything so now we've got four ingots of iron so the first thing we're going to do with this is we're going to make an iron mesh because they actually return they bet they return more so what there's iron sluices but it's actually good for liquid we really don't care about liquid at the moment until we get to lava so we need an iron mesh which is this recipe so we can then have a look at the uses of the iron mesh and we should be able to get a yes we're getting now we're getting seven percent with dust as opposed and nine percent with sand for gold uh, we also increase the amount of iron that we get compared to the cloth mesh. So let's have a look at uses of sand in the sluice. And then we can see the compare the difference. So cloth, we're getting 6% and 33% with a cloth mesh. And an iron mesh, we have to go to the next page. We're getting 9% and 43%. So we'll get a lot more return for that one. So let's replace the, let's replace the, the mesh in here, as you can see. We've got some flax, which is grown like that and just right click it on there and it'll basically do that for you so we can then put some sand into here we should get a lot more return for our money so to speak because <laughs> what we need what do we get this time a copper chunk yes we're getting a few copper chunks anyway so and you'll notice this actually goes down quite slowly We also have some dust, I think, because dust wasn't too bad either in, in an iron mesh. The next one we want is a gold mesh, and that is quite important, because then we can get other items like diamond chunks. 
and it also gives us we can also get um uh, inferior essence as well from that one so we've already got enough for another four iron already just after four which is good i'm going to run out of this so i'm not going to do this on camera now so i'll do that in a minute i'll come back in a minute i'll leave this i think i'll leave this for the time being we'll get on with the next bit so next what i'd like to do is have a look at um making we need a reasonable amount of iron actually to do the next thing we've got two we've got three that's going to give us another four ingots um which isn't enough for what we need to do next but the, let's have a look at the quest book again because we might have completed some quests yeah we completed that one so we've completed the chunks one so we get some iron chunks uh, it says four to twenty iron chunks and how many we've got let's close that one off i'm not reading the messages by the way and the next thing up here is an iron sluice mm, maybe that's a good thing to do actually because we're getting some compressed iron and in fact that's pretty quite straightforward let's just have a look at the recipe for iron sluices on here it, we take the wooden sluice we press shift and what we can actually do with this one is allows uh, automation of items which is actually good which I will do this definitely because the, the automation of iron we need basically two ingots of iron plus a chain which is f two nuggets we can do that I think we have enough to do that let's just oh we've got 15 that's three that's great so we can put these into the smelter like that and what we need to do next after this is to go and do these tempered glass jars for that we need these cast iron um, cast iron ingots are basically iron on the campfire but you can also oh, what I was also doing um, with this <clears throat> I was using the campfire to cook some baked potatoes because you don't have to cook eight at a time a fork. and baked potatoes are a good food anyway so there we are so how many do we need now let's have a look I can put the other two in here let these cook up uh, so now I need to automate so we need some iron nuggets so we need a chain don't we so that was I think that was two on around a, an ingot yeah that's fine so we've just got enough bits now to make upgrade this <clears throat> iron the wooden sluice to an iron sluice I've got some water in that but I don't mind losing it it's just water like that and then we can put this into here. Oh, I didn't turn off jump boost, did I? the jump thing. So now we can use the uses of the oak sluice. And we can make an iron sluice like this. And what we, all we need to do to automate this for items is put a chest in front of it. And it uses less fluid, as it says already. So we can put the iron mesh back into this. And then we can just take this chest here. Um, Probably this side of it. I have got some metals in metals in here that we've already collected, and just put that in front of it, so I don't have to then come along and do anything. So I haven't got any more things in here. I've got some dust. Oh, we should claim the reward, shouldn't we? Because um, I think we get a reward for that one, don't? Which is lots of materials. So let's get some cobblestone, compressed cobblestone, compressed sand. Uh, compressed gravel and a random reward which is mana steel leggings which is actually a really good one mana steel leggings oh yes i got some electrolyte now from must be from the iron let's have a look at the recipe for this it must have been from sluicing with an iron mesh it's in fact yes it is look this is one of the extra items that you get above cloth mesh meshes well, this one obviously we want to go for this one because you're also getting rid of getting prosperity shards and other bits that were really handy for the next part of the game. So, I had to what have we got here? Cobblestone, gravel, compressed gravel, ten compressed sand. Ooh, that's good. We can do that. So I was going to show you the automation of this. We'll just put it in here like that, and it'll go into this chest as you can see so you can just keep right clicking this uh, obviously I'd quite like to get some redstone not very much redstone because then I can automate doing this as well I can just put a hopper of it 
on a little a little clock and it'll just keep pushing the items into here I like that but in this chest let's take out the items from here and put those into this chest over here so we can see what we've got got another gold that one also goes in doesn't take we can sort this out and then we can basically keep putting this in so I'll be back in a while when I've done all of this well, I've been busy sluicing and I've got enough uh, gold now for three ingots. We've basically got three chunks. That'll give us four ingots. So what we have to do is put this gold back into the uh, casting basin. Now I'll show you how to do that. It, since this actually retains its liquid, we can break it quite happily. Like that. And we can take away this faucet here. We can use this faucet. Like that. And then... We can take this gold ingot out. We should get three plus a little bit left over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put here that I hope this is the right place. It is. And we can put the faucet on the side of this like this. Can we not put the oh, probably because of this one's in the way. Ah, all right, we'll have to remove this one. And then we should be able to put it on the side. So yes, you can see that's now nearly full, but that's probably about them. Yes, it's two thirds. We've got 96. So we just break this one off here. Where it's gone to and then we should be able to put this air force on here now and then right click this oh yes that's right so that's the given given us the extra bit so that's one way i can break this but put it back away now of course um <clears throat> put it back as it should have been put it back on this side and this one on this side so if we get any residue material we can we can do it this way any residue fluids which is actually not too expensive, just a bit of glass and some seared bricks. So the next thing on the agenda for um, Tinker's Construct is to make the, uh, the Tinker's Smeltery, and that will give us ore doubling. So at the moment we haven't got ore doubling. I, have I got another ingot of gold? Ah, that's a nuisance. Okay, what we can do with this is we can, should be able to make a, a cobblestone generator. I think we've got enough materials for that. So let's have a look at the cobblestone generator recipe and that is it drains. I have can't see it for the time being, but I have looked for it. <laughs> Where's it gone to? Cobblestone generator. Um. I'm not seeing it for the time being. Let's just select everything, just get everything else off and just. Oh, cobblestone. Oh, centrator doesn't work. I'll try with a G. No. Let's have a look for generator then. So maybe we can see it as a generator. Here we go. So this is a cobblestone generator. So we need one bucket of lava and one water bucket, some glass, some compressed cobblestone. Uh, and some stripped, and they put any log basically. So we can do this. We should have some glass left over, and we just need two buckets. They have to be iron buckets. So let's do that. One has to be filled with lava, and the other one has to be filled with water. So to, now we need to make these into cast iron because we need to make. Oh, before I do that, let's just check what glass we've got in the system at the moment. Hopefully, we've got enough. Probably haven't got any at all. Uh, bricks. Oh, yes, we've got some glass. I think that's actually enough glass. Yes, it is just enough glass. So we may need to make some panes like this. And then we need to cook these panes. So 16 will do. We can cook up all 16. And then we need to take some iron. And we need seven ingots of iron. So we're left with three ingots, which isn't a ton, but it should be all right for what we need. So you right-click these onto, onto the campfire and wait. It doesn't take too long these will turn into cast iron and then we can make the um the cast iron i think it's called a it's not a shooter what's it called i haven't got feed the beast on here anymore have i so let's just do what was it called this cobblestone generator why well, didn't find it last time oh cobble gen tier one so i need cobble gen and that's shows with that one and let's have a look at tinker's construct
and we needed oh it's not this that's a feed to beast isn't it so we need the cast iron ingots which we've got we need this this tempered glass thing here so we need this cast iron tubing very handy the cast iron tubing have i picked up all of the, the bits i should have four as i've got four so we need to do another three of these like that and then we, and with this we can then convert one of these into nuggets we can do that here we need some nuggets and then we need to make a gear which was going to take four cast iron plus one nugget and then we're going to need two more uh, cast iron for this so that's why we've got these three it shouldn't be too long now it says there we go so now we can make the um this jar the jar is actually a really important thing we, we need to make so i probably should have saved some glass panes to make a standard jar because we would like a bucket of lava uh, maybe i can click it on we'll see so what we needed is these like this so we need to make one two three four uh, put, a, put a nugget in the middle and that'll make the gear and on the side of the gear we need two ingots that'll make the cast iron tubes and i think that's a, comp uh, a quest good and then from here we should have these the glass ready already so let's put the glass around here now like so one cast iron tube with some glass around it in a sort of a U will give us a tempered glass jar. With this tempered glass jar we can simply put this onto the campfire. We can shift right click it on the campfire like this and that goes in the top. And into here we can put one cobblestone. Like that. Oh we want this recipe and we click plus. In fact, it would make sense to make some more glass if I haven't got any, if I've got any materials around. Really, dirt's probably the best one, isn't it? So let's just get some more dirt and convert this into sand. What do we need? Six pieces of sand, don't we, to make glass? Let's just hammer this up. Like that. And then put this into here, like... that's not very efficient never mind it'll have to do we waste two bits of things so that's not bad and then this thing is going to be running along and it takes quite a long time for this to actually work in the meantime let's get a glass jar um yes just an ordinary glass jar so for that we need a button and eight pieces of glass pane but we can't use the tempered glass pane we have to use that it doesn't matter about having extra um extra tempered jars we're probably going to need about four i don't think we've got enough for the recipe for this one no we haven't got any yet so we just wait for these to come through two another couple will be in a few seconds i'm not sure what he does with the lava <laughs> I'll be honest with you. Uh, so right click it. It's not completed. I hope the lava would actually stay in there. But for safety, for ease, let's just do it this way. Here. So we've now got six. So we can now make some more panes. Like that. And then from those panes, we can make a simple glass jar, which is this recipe. And then we can simply put this glass jar beside the tempered glass jar here. And on top of those, if I can jump up, which probably isn't so easy, let's have a look, put some dirt down here. Stand up here like this. We can actually put onto this the, these cast iron tubes. And then what will happen? Oh, it's come out. Fantastic. We've actually got it. Um, so let's push, just do this anyway. Put this on top of here like this and I'll shift click that one onto there it'll connect in so instead of getting a, a one of these items here which we then have to put into a jar which we can do i think we can put that into this jar here yes we can good and, and it disappears but we can then take a bucket of lava out of that and we can then put buckets of water so we should be able to make our cobblestone generator let's have a look at it where's it gone to i can't see it for try there we go 
So we just needed one more piece of glass. <laughs> oh, shame. I should have done eight, shouldn't I? Um, okay, we'll just do, we'll do eight. Get eight dirt done. And then we can put that into the, one of these. Doesn't matter which one. We should be able to get, we just need one piece of glass. So we can simply wait for that. Don't take a second. In fact, I've got some more of this frost melon over here. Didn't get any snowball that time, maybe because it's it grew beside the torch and melted it. So now we should be able to make the cobblestone generator. I like that, fantastic. And we get our buckets back, which is also good. Um, the next thing we could do is to make an automatic iron hammer like this. So we need two gold ingots. Uh, two pieces of glass, uh, one iron hammer. So we need four, but we need redstone. Redstone we get from sluicing um, dust. So we've got to make some dust. So I'll have to do that manually. Um, in here we don't have any more. We've got enough gold, but I'd like to make a gold mesh. So I need to do some more um, sand into here, and we'll, then we should be able to get that. So let's put the cobblestone generator down somewhere. Where would be sensible? Probably on the chest by itself. So I'm, I'll put it down here like that. And then we get some cobblestone out of that and we just put this into a chest. Let's get some more chests. And that will fill up with cobblestone and then we'll be able to hammer this automatically when it's filled up. Uh, for the time being, we've then now got we've now got sort of infinite supply of cobblestone. It should just come straight into here. I think it doesn't have to have any. There's nothing special. It says, ha, ha. maybe I have to put it on the wrong side. Let's just try breaking that. Normally, you get it in already by the time you do this. Put it down, but maybe I have to put it on the side here. Nope, that's not working either, so what uh, some are doing wrong. I don't think we need to do anything special with this. If it's definitely not working, why not? I try putting on top. Actually on top's not a bad idea. Ah, there we go. So now we've got a cobblestone coming in. So it does need to be on top. So now I can go and hammer all this cobblestone that we're going to be getting um, and make lots of sand. So I shall do that and come back. But that's going to be something for the next episode. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.